Rico is on high alert tonight, bracing for more devastating earthquakes. A Nashville man who has family in that hardest hit area of the island is desperately trying to send help to his relatives who no longer have a home. News Force Alan Frio has that story tonight. Everything I know is back home. I mean, I know I was raised here in Nashville, but that's that's home. And to see everything just crumbled is, is really heartbreaking. A part of Juan Ortiz's history as a child has been wiped out in his hometown of Guanica. But even more concerning, Juan's mother, sister, grandmother no longer have a home. It's severely damaged and unlivable. This religious picture defiantly stands around a crumbled wall. The family house is now inaccessible. There's a long road to get to the house in the mountains. All big boulders are just covering the road. Juan moved to Antioch with his mother 15 years ago. She eventually moved back to Guanica, Puerto Rico, which is right in the heart of the earthquake swarm. The area has been hit very hard with a thousand earthquakes in a week. With every quake, more houses are damaged. The whole town is sleeping outside. They're not sleeping in their homes. They're sleeping in their cars. They're sleeping in the front yard. They're, they're not in their homes. Everything is destroyed. Making matters worse for Juan, he can't talk to his family because cell phone towers are down. His family's safety always on his mind. There's no way to really take your mind off of it. It's just, you just gotta keep going through your day. Um, not Try not to worry about it so much because um, it's not, it's just gonna eat you up. This is the message he wants to convey to his family. I'm doing the best I can all the way, you know, hundreds of miles away for you guys because I care about all of you guys. And you know, that's my city, Guanica. Um, te amo, real hasta la muerte. You can just see the weight on his shoulders. Alan, this is like a one-two punch for the yeah. island. Yeah, it really is. Now, you got to remember that uh, Puerto Rico is still struggling to rebuild following Hurricane Maria, and now this. So, essentially, Juan's family will not only have to rebuild their house, but also their lives as well. He has set up a GoFundMe page to get them through the tough times right now. He hopes to uh, raise $5,000. You can find it on the News 4 app. Is all you have to do is go to the News Link section. Tracy? Alan Frio, thank you for doing your part to help tonight.